Hey guys, this is Corey with Funtown RV Amarillo, and today we're going to take a look at the 2024 Keystone Cougar Model 364 BHL. This is a great bath and a half bunkhouse, and all of the specs for this trailer, including a link to our current pricing on these, will be down in the video description below. Now, if you like RV reviews and walkthroughs, if you could do me a favor, if you enjoy this one, hit that like button down below. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe and notification bell down below as well. I would greatly appreciate it. I'd love to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of this year. So without further ado, let's go ahead. We'll jump onto the inside and show you all that this fifth wheel has to offer. This is the view you're greeted with as you step inside the Cougar 364 BHL. Now this is a middle living room and kitchen kind of efficiency apartment style uh, room here. Now this has the standard booth dinette in it. A freestanding table in chairs is available on these. But I think most people in a bunkhouse, especially if you have smaller kids, are going to opt for the booth dinette. One, it turns down into an extra sleeper. as you can see, but also it's a little easier for little ones to sit here as opposed to the freestanding table and chairs. Now, a cool thing with the Cougar Boot Dinette is these are the Dream Dinette system, so it's easy to drop it down. Big windows, all of these open for ventilation, and all of your windows are going to have the roll down blackout shades. Now right here's going to be your theater seats. These are manual recline, but they have the heat and massage functions in them, which is really cool. Uh, and one thing that I do like as well. Now you do have a little bit of secret storage there for, I don't know, a remote or something. But if we take a seat right here, you can see that you're on a pretty good viewing angle for the TV. Now I'm sitting in the left-hand theater seat, and then this is your view from the right-hand theater seat. So you do have your smart TV there. Looks to be about a 50 inch. Plus you've got your 5200 BTU electric space heater fireplace down below, and you've got your AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth player right above that in between those two cabinets. Now Cougar is using in-floor ducted heating. That is the most efficient way to heat a camper like this. Cabinet ducted heating is easier to clean, but the in-floor ducted heat heating is more efficient. So it's kind of a trade-off. Now, one of the things this camper is not really known for, and this floor plan specifically, is the lack of campside windows. So you've got the one window there, and then this advertisement here is covering up the window in the entry door, but there is one. You do have the rain uh, sensoring max air vent fan up there, and you do have two 15,000 BTU air conditioners, one here and one in the front bedroom. They also are using the new Blade Pure AC returns, this little thing right here, that is going to put out a lot more airflow down into the camper instead of being trapped up in the ducting system. No carpet in any of these Cougars as well. You've got solid surface countertops. And then right up here, you do have your in-command system. So the cool thing with this is you can Bluetooth this to your phone. You do have manual buttons in the pass-through storage, but this will control your air conditioning, heating, basically everything in this trailer, water pump, water heater, all that good stuff is um, controlled right here. And I just knocked that advertisement off. We'll roll with it. But let's go ahead now and we'll take a look at the storage in this Cougar 364. Because it's got a pretty dang good kitchen for a bunkhouse. So starting off with your big old pantry here. This is great. You've got your breakers and fuses down there. Plenty of depth. It's probably halfway up my forearm there. But I like that it's wide too. And... You, like I said, you've got plenty of storage there. You do have a motion sensor light. I just left it off for right now. I like these big heavy doors too. That is that is a nice touch. Now there is full storage underneath the dinette. I just forgot to 
take it apart and show you. Above your TV, you are going to have some little bit or little bitty storage. And then right here next to your AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth player, you've got a couple little drop downs here. So that is really nice as well. Soft close cabinets too, which is kind of neat. Now over here, you've got your big old 16 cubic foot, 12 volt DC compressor driven refrigerator. This is nice. It'll work on the uh, 200 watt solar package that these Cougars come standard with. And then there's the freezer portion. No ice maker in this, just so you're aware. Now, right over here, you've got some good storage there. And then same thing on this side. Plus you've got kind of a little spice rack area. 30 inch residential size microwave. You've got some outlets there. Solid surface countertops again. You do have the three burner cooktop with the glass cover. Oven down below in case you want to do some baking. That is a larger 22 inch oven. And then down here, you've got some good storage underneath there. I wish it was a drawer though. And then over here, you've got some more good storage right there. Now over here, you've got your pull out trash can with an extra bonus drawer with the paper towel holder. They're trying to be like Brinkley again. There we go. You've got your one or two basin split sink. It's a 50-50 split with the covers. Nice modern cut to that sink too. Plus you have your extend a faucet. Electrical outlets on both sides of the island. And then underneath here, you got some really good open storage. And then you've got three full extension plywood box, ball bearing drawer guided drawers, which is really nice as well. So that's gonna wrap it up for the kitchen and living area storage. Let's go ahead now and we'll take a look at the back bedroom and the half bath. So stepping back into the main bunk area, you have two queen size beds. So this is a 60 by 74 camper queen bed. Nice big windows back here too. They are gonna have the roll down blackout shades. Now over here, you do have a big old closet back here. Now just uh, for ease of showing you, you do have three of these drawers. These are gonna just go right back in like that, as you can see there. And then uh, if we go ahead and close all of these, you've got a little nightstand right here. And is that a household outlet? Yep, household outlet down there as well. So great for those CPAP machines and things of that sort. Now I love this ladder. This is so sturdy. Um, kids would love this. Now if we take a climb up here, this loft will hold 800 pounds, which is great. So you've got plenty of room up here, a little bit of storage back over there. And then right across, you do have TV uh, hookups, which is really nice and convenient for them to be able to put a uh, TV back up here. Now let's see if I can get down here one handed. Now back in here, you've got a sliding pocket door to close off your half bath. So you've got a towel hook or towel rod, GFI protected outlet, lighting controls, and your fan controls. I'll show you that fan in just a minute. Nice big countertop with a decent sized sink. Medicine cabinet for all their toothbrushes and toothpastes and stuff. Second entry door. This does have a deadbolt privacy lock on it. And then plenty of spot or plenty of space back there for a trash can. Press membrane countertops too, by the way. Now, I'm sitting on the throne here. If we spin this around, you can see I've got plenty of elbow room on my right side, plenty of elbow room on my left side. And plenty of um, leg room down here. So really great 
half bath. All right. So now let's go ahead and we'll go up to the main upper deck and take a look at the storage and features up there. All right, guys. So we're in the master bathroom here. So porcelain foot flush lever toilet. You do have another towel bar right there. Four inch fart fan. And I don't know why they can't use the same fan that they use in the main um, or the half bath, excuse me, up here. That would just make all the sense in the world, but I'm not the designer. Sitting on this throne, same thing. I've got great elbow room on both sides, as you can see. And I've got super wide shoulders. Plus, you've also got plenty of leg room. Now, while we're down here, we'll take a look at some of the storage. You've got three full extension plywood box, ball bearing drawer, guided drawers down here. Some plumbing access. Good countertop space. You got your sink there. Uh, this is your tankless water heater controls. You got your GFI protected outlet and your light switch for in here. Plus a big old medicine cabinet. And then you do have a slide that's in part of the bathroom. So this will actually connect to part of your hanging closet space. You could always use that for linens. And you've got a couple of extra drawers in here as well. Now, this does have to be open for the slide to close. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now, since we're about to close the slides here in just a little bit. But right here is your Neo Angle shower. I've got plenty of room shoulder wise, plenty of head height. Uh, I've probably got oh five or six inches above my head here, which is great. Uh, some fifth wheels are not the best as far as head height. So dual entry bathroom too. Now in here, this is one of the only cougars in the big cougar that has a queen bed. And it's because it's not a bed slide. Now, if we start opening up some of this storage, you've got some great shelf space there. Household and USB outlets on both sides of the bed with some good uh, shelf space down here as well. You do have a front windshield. as you can see right there. So hopefully you're not looking out at some <laughs> RV dealers lot, but you've got some good storage space there. Another reading light that I conveniently forgot to turn on. Good storage space underneath the bed and that goes way back there too. That is very nice. There's some strong, struts there here's the rest of your closet space that goes all the way across there and then down here you've got these big old dresser drawers so not the little ones like in the bathroom but nice deep drawers and you've got the same thing over here plus there is your second air conditioner so all right go oh before i forget tv backer Plus you've got a dedicated switch for the bedroom lights. So, all right guys, let's go ahead now and we'll close these slide outs up and let you look at what you can and can't get to with the slide outs closed. All right guys, so as you can see here, you're not getting to that refrigerator with the slide outs closed. Even if you were to come in the back door and go into the bunk room, you're not getting to your pantry, but you can, however, get to this bathroom and the bedroom. Now keep in mind, this door does have to be or open and held back with the magnet for the slide out to come in. So this one is best used at a destination and does not pass the travel test. All right, guys, so we're on the outside of this Cougar 364 BHL. Starting up front here, you've got a, your automotive painted fiberglass front cap with the automotive windshield, integrated LED docking lights. They just don't show up really well in the daytime. Up front here is going to be your spare tire and battery box location. Again, this does have 220 watts of solar panels up on the roof. You'll have two of these identical compartments with your propane tanks, one on each side. You've got your great pass-through storage with your brains for all your slide-outs and stuff, K2 
cable and power for a TV. Plus you do have the extra lighting in here. These do have magnetic holdbacks, slam latches, and then you've got some extra power on the outside. Now you do have a small power awning up here, but this is one of two that you have. And I like that it doesn't go over this main slide out to maximize your patio awning space. Outside speakers, if we drop down underneath, you can see that you do have a fully enclosed forced air heated underbelly. Cougars are and have been zero to 100 degree rated, tested and proven for several years now. You've got the safety rail and the more, uh, Lippert, excuse me, more, uh, I keep wanting to say Morad, Lippert solid steps that flip up inside the door, have the adjustable feet and all that good stuff. Now Cougars are using the Lippert ABS system, which is really cool. Uh, there's some videos on the internet if you want more information about that. Four point electric auto leveling. And then this right here is your outside shower. Love that it's on this side. That is super handy. Here's your other power awning. Notice it does go over your outside kitchen and back entry door. You've got basically the same treatment except you don't have the safety rail back here. Now back here in your outside kitchen you have a nice big old griddle and a little mini fridge for when it's margarita time or for your brewskis Mountain Dew and apple juice. Back here, you do have a ladder to get up on top of the fully walkable P, uh, TPO roof. Backup camera prep. You do have the uh, accessory hitch to put a bike rack or something on. 50 amp service. And then you've got all this space underneath the bed. I believe it, yeah, it does lift up from the inside. Magnetic holdbacks, slam latches. Right here's your fresh water connection. You do have two dumps because you do have two different tanks. So there's one. And notice the gate valve is still underneath the, up in the underbelly. Now it gets a little tight here, so pardon the terrible camera work and running into things. And then uh, underneath your slide out here, I'm not a huge fan of this, but that's where it goes, is your other dump. Now you got your tankless water heater controls here, or your tankless water heater, not your controls, right there. Plus you do have your black and gray tank dumps, fresh water, city water, uh, black tank flush, cable, outside shower, all that good stuff. Plus your automatic leveling controls right there. And uh, I believe that's his prep for an inverter too. Now, because you do have a slide out, this is on struts, which is really nice. Still got those slam latches though. And then there's the other propane tank compartment. This also is gonna ride on the road armor suspension and the road armor shock dampening pin box. So that's gonna wrap it up for the 2024 Keystone Cougar 364 BHL. If you're interested in this big, beautiful bunkhouse and you would like pricing and availability, again, that link will be down in the video, video description in the comment section, depending, or in the comment section, depending on which platform you're watching this on. Remember at Funtown RV, we have the best products, best selection, and the best prices around. So we hope to see you out at Funtown RV very soon. Plus, we don't do any of those hidden dealer fees. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. We'll see you on the next one.